I get into the bathroom and pull my pants down. When I say there was no way that nobody see, like everybody seen. <laughs> back again with another video you already know what's going on. you already know what's going on today okay actually you don't know what's going on i'm kind of nervous what the heck so <laughs> hey guys oh my gosh <laughs> so today i'm going to be telling my first period and most embarrassing period story so I know it's a lot of little girls on my channel, a lot of little girls like that probably haven't even started their period yet. You probably don't even know what to expect. And I mean, honestly, I feel like every single girl doesn't know what to expect and has an embarrassing period story. If y'all want to comment y'all's period stories, like go ahead. Like I'm pretty sure it will make everybody feel better. But like for girls, if you're a boy, you might as well just go. Like you might as well just go because like... Or watch, like, then you can just know, like, what happens. Like, this is the deal. This is what's going on. So, let's take it back. A nice summer day, Rome, Georgia, hometown. I'm just sitting, chilling, going. This was literally the week before I started middle school. So, it was, like, my fifth grade summer going into my first year of middle school, into sixth grade. So, I was... 11 12 probably 11 also i forgot to add i really forgot to add that my first period this very first one lasted like two weeks it was literally like 13 days like i thought i was dying after a while i really did but keep in mind continue i think i don't really know whatever age you are Woo! and so Oh my gosh, this is so, so, so embarrassing. So, okay, whatever. Every girl goes through it. Every girl does it. Whatever. Okay, here we go. So, I was sitting in my room, and I just start feeling like, I don't know, I didn't really, like, expect a period. So, I'm like, did I, like, pee on myself? Like, what's going on? You know, like, you feel something going on. And so, I go to the bathroom, and it's like, it's not blood, but it's like, not pee you know what i'm saying like it has color to it like it kind of looks brown ish you know what i'm saying so i was like oh my little kid mind i'm like oh like i pooped on myself <laughs> i was like oh i pooped on myself whatever like who cares right like let's just like clean up fix this get it situated take a shower we're good take a shower put on new clothes i didn't think about a pad i didn't think about a tampon i didn't think about a panty liner i didn't want to do none of that you know i was going back to playing with my toys doing flips playing outside i was not hearing none of that so i'm like you know what this is not my period like i didn't even think about that so put back on my clothes go back to my room and then um i'm chilling like nothing really happens for a while my mom was at work and so then i just feel it again i'm like okay something fishy's going on like something is really up so i go into the bathroom and it's blood everywhere it's just blood it's just all over my my underwear and i'm like okay this is real like this is really happening i knew what a period was but like i didn't want it you know like i was like i don't want that like you so i'm like okay this is real so I didn't want to tell my mom. I don't know. A lot of kids, like like a lot of like girls when they first start, they don't want to tell anybody. Like it's embarrassing, I guess. Like it was embarrassing to me. I lied about it for the longest time, bro. Like, so I was. We had pads under the thing just because my mom was ready. Like, cause I was getting to that age and she knows like it could happen. So she always had them. And so I put one on. And I went back to what I was doing. Put one on. Put back on my clothes. Went back to what I was doing. And so then like. Oh my gosh, like I went two, three days without telling my mom. I didn't say nothing to her. And then finally, like it was like, like about like four days later, like it was like a little pack of pads. So I had like ran out and I was like, okay, I was like, I'm going to have to tell her. So I text her on, <laughs> I texted her on Skype because <laughs> she was at work. So I texted her on Skype. I was like, oh, I was like, um, I started my period. And I guess she didn't see it until the next day. So 
you can imagine how awkward that was the things i had to do to make sure like because i was not trying to tell her in person i don't know what was wrong with me like i did not want to tell her in person so i was just waiting for her to read the text i'm like you know like she'll see it the next day comes by she gets home from work and she's like so you weren't gonna tell me like do you need something what have you been using we had a little talk or whatever and then she gave them to me the funny thing is whenever you start your period your mom is gonna tell everybody your mom's gonna tell your aunt your uncles your grandma your everybody that she knows her best friend she's telling everybody so i go to my aunt's house uh, my grandma's house and my aunt's there both of my aunts and they're like 20 so you know they're gonna say something so like we get there and like she's one of my aunts like oh you started your period i was like mm. i was like no i didn't i was like that was just a prank i was just telling my mom that and both of them were like okay like i lied for so long i don't know why even after like i finally told them i did even at school like when my friends would ask i would still say no i don't know if that's only me or if like other kid girls like when y'all started like you you were embarrassed to say something like i don't know why i was embarrassed of it but like i was in like sixth seventh grade i just would not say anything and like i was scared to like take my pad off in the bathroom like i didn't it was like it was a burden like it was just on me like i had to make sure nobody knew that i had my period so that's pretty much the story of how i started now for my most embarrassing period story which i've told this on instagram live before but like i'm about to just go into detail so this was during my sixth grade year this was the year i started so you know i still didn't really know like how to make sure i didn't bleed on myself plus i was wearing pads so i didn't really know how to deal with my period so to say like i didn't know when to take it off like you know i was a kid just learning how so i was at school and i um i went to the boys and girls club after school and i had like a little boyfriend right i had this little boyfriend i used to sit with him like on the bus or whatever like on the way there was a bus that went from straight from the school to the boys and girls club and my mom would pick me up from the boys and girls club like six o'clock seven like later so we got out of school get on the school bus i had like changed my pad who knows when like i didn't i was a kid i wasn't paying attention like i was still like a kid in my head i didn't feel like it was a responsibility i had to really keep up with like i'm just like living life so i'm on the bus and i didn't think about it until i'm sitting with my little boyfriend right and we're sitting in the we're sitting on in the bus in the very back row and i start feeling like you know how it feels like you know like you know you're in trouble like i started feeling like but then I was like, maybe I'm just sweating. Like, I kept telling myself, because, you know, sometimes you overthink it, and it's really not what it is. So I was like, oh, like, it's, it's not really, like, I know it's not. I didn't have no jacket, nothing. I had a jacket on, but, like, I didn't have, like, nothing to really, like, wrap, unless I really wanted to, but that, like, I don't know. I just did it. I did it. I was like, oh, like, just play it cool. Act normal. My crush, boyfriend, whatever, he's sitting right beside me, so I'm like, just play it cool. So we're talking, whatever, sitting on the bus, and then, um so i'm feeling this you know it's kind of odd and i just remember in my head i'm like please jesus don't let there be blood all over my pants like i was like please do not let this be what i think it is so i'm sitting here and i'm just like okay we're about to have to get off this bus so i'm just gonna pray that everything's clear bus stops at the boys and girls club we're all getting off so we're getting off and i'm walking off the bus my pants were light like i had light pants it was like light wash jeans like very light wash so if it was it was you know like there was no hiding it, it wasn't no like black jeans like it's like it's all or none right now so i'm walking into the boys and girls club my boyfriend whatever little kid crush he's walking behind me so in my head i'm like if it is he's seeing it and hopefully there's nothing there so we're walking inside get in there we sign in to the boys and girls club we um, go to sit down like so we can eat because they always give us a snack. So we're sitting and I'm like, maybe I should go to the bathroom now. So I go. So this is like moment of truth. OK, so we go to the bathroom. I, I, I go to the bathroom. He didn't come with me. I go to the bathroom and um, they're all sitting down. It's like me and my boyfriend and then his friends and then some of my friends. So it's like all the girls, all the boys. We were all like sitting at the table. I get up. Keep in mind, I get up, walk away, away from them, and I'm still not wearing nothing. So if it is something on my pants, everybody's seeing it right now. Like, it's, it's there. I get into the bathroom and pull my pants down. When I say there was no way that nobody see, like, everybody seen it. There was no, like, that. it was embarrassing because I knew everyone that was in there already knew. 
like already knew like it was terrible like all of everywhere everywhere oh it was so bad like it wasn't in, like nobody said anything to me but it was the fact that everyone was walking behind me i was every you see it like he they seen it bro and it was like my crush my boyfriend at the time you know it was like a big deal and i was like oh my gosh so i'd like do what i can tie my jacket around my waist come back at the bathroom they're like looking at me but it's like polite like they're being polite because we're kids so they probably didn't want to say anything but like they knew like i knew they knew just by how they were looking once i came back out they're looking at me like trying to see what i'm gonna do me got my bag and i walk straight to the front straight to go and tell that boys and girls sub teacher that i need to call my mom and get out of here i had to go i got to go like i can't be here no more everybody already seen like i'm the laughing stock of the b g c right now boys and girls club i'm i'm the laughing stock right now like everybody knows okay i got it you guys i'm the elephant in the room right now i got a dip so i go up to the front and i'm like can i call my mom and she's like what do you need to call her for i was like it's an emergency i just need her to come and get me and even the lady in the front knew already like, she knew because she seen, she was like, oh, she was like, you need her to, like, bring you clothes or whatever. Like, she was, like, whispering. Like, she's new to it. Everybody's seen it. Like, think about just knowing everyone in there already knows. And you were just walking around with red all over the back of your pants. Oh, my gosh. It was so bad. Like, I'm getting, like, I'm sweating just thinking about it. It was terrible. And I was so little. You know, when you're little, it's a bigger deal. Like, right now, if that had happened to me, I'd just be like, yeah, okay. Like, I got business to handle. That was like, it was like, I couldn't even go back. I didn't even want to go back. So I called her. I'm like, can you come and get me? Like, I bled all over myself. Like, this is not good. No bueno. Like, my crush done seen. My homegirls done seen. My teachers. Everybody knows. Like, I need you to come and get me now. And now, like, I was not having it. So she's like, yes, yes. Just stay calm. It's okay. Because I was crying. Like, I was crying. I started crying on the phone with my mom. Like, you know, whenever you start talking to your mom, you just start crying. Like, I didn't cry until she was like, what's going on? I start crying. I told her. She comes and gets me. We're in the car talking. And I'm like, yeah, like, that happened. And then, yeah, we went back home. And I changed. And it was, all was good. I went back to the Boys and Girls Club, too. I didn't want to. Like, nobody ever said anything, though. Like, that's one thing. Nobody ever said anything. I don't know if they, like... Maybe they thought that was, like, the style. <laughs> like, maybe they thought it was, like, supposed to be there. But, yeah, nobody said anything. It just happened, and then that was it. But that was, like, my most embarrassing period story. Like, other than that, I never really had one. But, like, that was so embarrassing. And, yeah, that's it. And I don't know, like, for anybody that is starting a period, which I'm sure a lot of people click this video because you're, like, gonna start and you're really scared, and that probably didn't help much at all. But just avoid that part. Let's just put it like this. Your period is very natural. Your mom already has her. She's had it. She has it. She knows. Like, it's okay to tell people that you have it. It is a girl thing. Every girl has it. Especially in high school, every female has it. You're going to get it in middle school or maybe even elementary school. At least talk about it. Don't, like, hide it because... It's a natural thing and you're gonna need your mom to tell you how to when to change when to do this and that it's not scary you get used to it it's just like at first you were gonna be it's scary to like think about I know cuz like before you have it you're like you don't want it it's a girl thing it's a human thing you probably will have incidents accidents embarrassing moments every every girl does I'm pretty sure every girl that has their period right now watching this has had an embarrassing period story and it's just life you're going to have moments like that but if you're like 11 10 12 you're watching this don't worry it's not a big deal it's like every everybody has to go through it so just make sure you do it right don't be embarrassed of it tell your mom or some figure you have get the right stuff and one day you'll probably be making one of these videos <laughs> One day, sis, you're probably going to be making one of these videos. But, like, it's funny. It's fine. Like, I get humor out of it. It's all good. So, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. And like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. 
Um, I think we're almost at like 300,000 subscribers. That is insane. And I love you guys so much. Like, I can't even wrap my head around it. Like, just the fact of where I came from to where we are now. And just you guys supporting me and just staying with me. Um, I love you guys so much. So, comment below any suggestions you have for me. Any other stories you want me to tell you. Advice videos, hygiene videos, whatever it may be. Whether it be girl related or just in general. And I will get to those. I love you guys. Stay cute.